Hello, Flickering Myth family, and welcome to our channel. My name is EJ Marino, and we have a new review. Yes, in this video, we are going to be diving into Rob Zombie's The Monsters. <laughs> blows my mind that the word the monsters and rob zombies are so close together and it's not even some weird shock art version of the classic television show no rob zombie tried to make a pretty straight up homage to the classic monsters television series that so many of us grew up with so many of us loved i saw it on like the nick at night replays and it was one of my favorite things i ever saw herman monster lily monster and the kids oh my god i thought it was just so intriguing i thought it was such a a fun series there's a fun twist on that because i liked i love lucy but i saw so many of the tropes there be made fun of in the monsters so i started seeing the full spectrum of sitcoms Rob Zombie gets to take a different twist on this. This is his version of the things he grew up with, but it's also his campiest, most family-friendly movie. This is truly feels like what he watched growing up really inspired him in this project, and it seems like he wanted to strip back a lot of his more offensive, his more in-your-face values, and really focus on cutesy, campy, and that's what I wanted from this. That's all I needed was campy, over-the-top moments, some slapstick stuff, and just an homage to something that a lot of us love, and that's exactly what is captured in this film. Now, when you are capturing the elements of the monsters, that leads you into some low-budget territory. This movie is a bit of a micro-budget film, it feels like. It feels like Rob Zombie definitely had time to play with his creative vision, but the execution is a bit cheap. Yes, it's trying to kind of capture that old-school 50s, 60s television vibes, but it's kind of apparent that this movie is very cheap so what do we do like do, do you kind of complain about it or do you embrace it i am on the side that is going to totally embrace the the camp the cheesiness the cheapness of it it fits it it's kind of fun to see a filmmaker who is not really a big budget filmmaker but someone who usually has a bit more money than what's here and having to see them work uh work within their constraints i like that i think that really uh, challenges a filmmaker and and it really seemed to challenge Rob Zombie in a positive way. Yeah, it feels like this is like the set of Halloween Town from the Disney Channel original movies. But cool, fine. That's what I wanted from this, to be honest. I wanted cheap little fun costumes that looks like it's people in suits. I wanted like weird, uh, like the the transitions where they're like coffins or fun little things that are bats and Halloween things. I wanted all of the cheesiness and it delivered every bit of that. But again, if you're not into cheesiness, if that kind of turns you off, I can see where this would definitely scare you away. Now, for Rob Zombie's The Monsters, they take a very different route with this. This is not a straight-up remake of the TV series. It's an origin story. We're getting to see how Lily and Herman Monster met each other. Lily is obviously played by Sherry Moon Zombie. Don't pretend to be shocked that he put his wife in the lead role of this. Honestly, she's one of my favorite parts of this. She really understood the tone. Then we have, uh, uh, what was it, Jeff Daniel Phillips playing Herman Monster. Mwah art so good and then daniel roebuck as grandpa another great performance these three leads really understood the assignment they got their exact characters herman monster is a bit different than like the classic fred gwynn when you think of like the herman vibes but i like this herman i thought he was really fun i also really liked sherry moon zombie i'm also a bit biased because there's no shock to anyone i love rob zombie movies this is a dude who i just kind of grown up with as a horror fan he's a Involved. And honestly, right now, I'm in a phase for cheesy kids' movies. I've been watching a lot of Goosebumps with my four-and-a-half-year-old. I like this kind of vibe, so maybe that's why it really worked for me. And I like to see these actors kind of capture the characters, but also give them a new spin. Grandpa is definitely very different here, but still that classic kind of slapstick character that you would want. The supporting cast, the people around these guys as well, are also really, really good. Cassandra Peterson shows up, who's better known as Elvira. We have, like, Richard who is 
crazy in this. I mean, he's not as crazy as he is in normal things. But yeah, we also have like Jorge Garcia. A lot of these supporting characters really understood as well. That's kind of what I love about the actors here. Rob Zombie definitely had a vision. They definitely all had a idea of what they wanted to do with the monsters goes Rob Zombie. And they all executed it. Everyone understood the assignment. And that is key in making a true campy movie. I saw another film this week called Hocus Pocus that I did didn't really like the camp value of it. I felt it was manufactured. This did not feel manufactured. It felt like they were entrenched in camp. They were entrenched in this like low budget Ed Wood style filmmaking and they made the most of it. I mean, little weird film stuff like when uh, Lily Munster first sees Herman on the television, there's like these like hearts in the background and she's just so in love. Little things like that. Also, when Herman first wakes up and does the stand up set, that's when I knew I liked this version. I was nervous because I knew they were going to change some things, but I lo I was sold there very instantly. All these characters sold the tone, the vibe, the atmosphere, and that's exactly what they need to do. And honestly, Rob Zombie got lucky with his usual group being down to clown in this way. I mentioned earlier that I am a Rob Zombie fan, and that means I do like his more crazy, shocking films. I mean, 31, The Devil's Rejects, which I think is an absolute perfect horror film, House of a Thousand Corpses, Lords of Salem, all of these movies are things I like. I'm actually a secret real big fan of that Halloween remake. Sorry, I, I, it ranks very high in my list of Halloween movies. Very high, shockingly high. But yeah, I just love Rob Zombie. So what I thought was so interesting is he tackled this and did not decide to, uh, he just didn't want to change anything. He wanted to go this route. And I actually think it's really refreshing to see a uh, usual shock art, a usual crazy in your face, gory filmmaker, strip it all back. Eli Roth did it not too long ago. Everyone needs to every I think every horror director should go venture out into kids films, even if it's not exactly kids films in the way you would think, because this is PG, but they definitely push the boundaries with some of the jokes and some of the tones. Rob Zavi definitely put his stamp on it. Also, like I love the, the sets that they built. It definitely feels like Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. Actually, remember that ride that they went through in that movie? That's what this whole movie felt like, was just a fun, cheesy, like, uh, amusement park ride. And I mean that in all the compliments. I'm happy to see Rob Zombie can stretch himself like this. Do I want to see him venture back into the shocking world of gross things? Yeah, I like that. That's why I'm a fan of his. But I will say this works. Like, this is, to me, ranks, like, in his obscure different things as the haunted world of El Super Bisto, which is his animated film. One of my biggest recommendations for Rob Zombie is that like weird, crazy kind of in your face movie. Yeah, I really like it. So that ranks high for me like this. I think The Monsters is not going to be for everyone, but as a Rob Zombie fan, as someone who wanted to see him stretch himself a bit more, I'm happy this came out as it did. All right, everyone, that is it for my review of The Monsters, Rob Zombie's newest film, and I am so happy to get it. I got a bonus, a uh, little DVD that had the bonus features. I got to hear the audio commentary with Rob Zombie. He loves this. He, I just There's so much love and uh, like respect to classic horror and like, you know, family friendly horror that I have to say this is, comes with a big thumbs up for me. Definitely a personal taste thing. Not everyone's going to like it. But for me, this worked really well. What did you guys think of this review? What do you guys think of the monsters? Share your feelings down in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy and make sure you subscribe to Flickering Myth. All right, everyone, let's talk about the monsters down below.